Hello and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. In this episode, you're gonna get a guided tour of the Majestic 530. It was definitely our best bang for the buck boat and we fell in love with it two years ago. It's a little bigger than we probably need at 53 feet, but it had so much stuff included for a price that was quite reasonable. Now, here's what's gonna happen in this episode. You're gonna see the, the old model, but they're coming out with a new model in the next year. It's gonna be a whole new shape, and of course, with that whole new shape comes a whole new price tag. It's jumping quite a bit, which is a bit of a punch in the gut for us because this was a boat that was on our maybe buy list. So we have to decide after this new price jump whether it's something we still would consider a really great deal or not. So stay tuned for that. We anchor and hoist the sail. Okay, welcome back to the Annapolis Sailboat Show. We are gonna do a guided tour again with the Majestic 530 from Royal Cape Catamarans. This is a boat we've always loved. Now, you know two years ago when we filmed it, Janice and I absolutely loved that boat. It had a honey maple interior, awesome. Last year, it was owner's choice. Interior was completely different, not really to our liking, but I wanna show you a third year because this is an even different boat. And each owner with this kind of boat gets a customized choice of wood colors, uh, cloth covers everything so if you don't love the color just remember go back to two years ago if you like the honey maple like we do that is still an option so i'm going to give you a guided tour from ali who's done the guided tours for the last two years of this majestic 530 so stay tuned Craig, this will be the back. third year in a row you've done our tours yeah, awesome to have you aboard. thank you Let's start back here on the swim platform you'll notice this one is a little bit bigger than the ones you've seen in the past still goes all the way down in the water comes back up it's great for the dinghy lift uh, boarding platform, dive platform. Dive pl so it goes out down into the water. You can just slide your butt up on it if you're in a. You can slide it. You can slide the boat up on it while it's. That's amazing. Yeah, it's perfect. Love that, and it is wide, very, very wide. Very wide. Yeah. yeah. You can notice we put a thing here so you can actually put a cocktail table back here and chairs. Oh, very right. cool. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. This way. Okay. This is a 5:30 again. Yeah. Uh, I want to point out. Yes. To make a 570, they have one in production right now. It will come in the Flybridge and the non Flybridge version. Okay. As does the 530. One thing that you'll notice on here that's different in the past, and this is the same for the 530, they've modified the hull design, which actually gives it's the same beam, it's still 28 feet, but it actually gives you more volume in the living spaces in the hull, as mm -hmm. well as the cockpit and the slot. And it's a more modern shape. If anybody had a little bit of a concern with my previous year's ones on the Majestic, is that they said the hull shape was a little dated, but they've now they've modernized it. They with the solid, smooth lines along it. Yeah. So very much in the Royal Cape style when customers speak. They yeah, they, they listen. And they, and they changed the mold. They actually did change. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. This particular boat has a live well on it. Oh, cool. Yeah. So there's live fish in there. Choose to do that. This is your fish cleaning station. There you go. Awesome. Uh, we have the bry, as we call it. Inside. Yeah. We have to the outside first. It's quite a side. Same thing, but another view of the side. Another angle of the new hull. The uh, bigger windows. A lot bigger right. windows on this boat. Awesome. Solid stainless railing versus the life lines to me is a big safety factor and again very, very wide walkways. And they seem quite tall too. Like they don't look like it's something you're going to easily flip over. Unless you were really tall. Yeah. Uh, since I've been waking up, we still have the eight solar panels for our permanent or retract. And how many total watts? It was like 2,000? Like or? It's a little bit more than that. Yeah. Yeah. It's over 2,000 watts, like in 2,200 or something. I think it's even more than that. I'll find out. Uh, fully enclosed, drop down. This has canvas as well as isinglass and netting. Okay, so you got your bug screens and your glass. This particular boat shows a double helm over here. Yeah. You can have a single or a double. Okay. The lines still all come to one side, so it's very easy for one or two people to handle. Very, very safe electric winches. Still has the Yanmar uh, 80 double engines. You can get it with a shaft drive or with a sail drive. Okay. And we have to mention right here that you've got the hard winds, windshield with the windshield wipers, which is very, you know, rare. You don't usually get windshield wipers, but this boat well, does. And it's very, um, even when it's rainy, unless it's blowing directly from here, you can stand here and not have a problem. Right. You can look up through here, see your sails, all that with the glass. So. Yeah, and you can get airflow if you want to pop that open too. Awesome. And if it is raining, you can just drop one of the side curtains if the thighs and yeah. glass down and still see that. 
All these hard front windshields, all of them pivot open, I can tell, right? Yes, they do. So for airflow, if it is hot and you don't need that, then you that's amazing. It's very rare. Boarding gates on either side. Mm -hmm. Life raft, 12-man ride, life raft. Is it included? Okay. Yeah, everything's still yeah. standard on the boat. That's one thing. This boat, when they point at something, you know, it's not an option. It's actually standard. Right, it's still really good. And by uh, on the newer version, you're actually putting some recliners here that are built in. Okay. They're going to be really nice, too. Again, if you didn't want it, you wouldn't have to have it. And that's on the 530 or the 570? Awesome. Okay. Storage up here. There's lots of Okay. And the soft netting for the trampoline. Yep. The windlass is underneath the walkway, so it's not a problem. It's easy to get to right in here. 74 foot mast. Obviously, if you get the fly bridge, it's taller, than I don't have that number right on there. Yeah, Janice and I have always been for this, this lower seating. We don't, yeah, but it is an option for those who like fly bridge. Lots of handholds and you have another seat over here if you if you have a partner that wants to sail from the other side yeah there's the engine room wow is it ever deep eh yeah it's big lots of storage in back. you can stand beside it you get the mats down there and all the space crazy space that's cool and those are Yanmar 80s yes they are that's amazing. And that, that one's a sail drive, right? Yes, it is, but you can get a shaft. You can get a shaft drive, okay. comes with the Glendinning hose reel, which is really helpful oh, okay. because those things are so heavy. Yeah, yeah, so you just reel it in. Right. Okay. Now, your choice on the leather, or if you want an umbrella outside instead of Okay, this is leather. Okay. Chest freezer. chest freezer under the outdoor salon table. And do you have choices of different? We do. Or, okay. So, sorry, you were showing me that? Oh, yeah, washer dryer. Washer dryer, okay. Which is nice having it outside. Yeah, so you got the heat and the moisture inside your boat. What's in this side? Storage? Okay. Cleaning supplies and wonders and whatever you want. You have another fridge? Outside fridge, ice maker. Ooh, ice maker. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is new too. This is good for safety. It's about good. Modify the steps a little bit from what you're saying. Okay, so this one again is an island, but they are customizable so you can have a horseshoe or a U shape. Yes. We have galley down now that we have like the one of you. Or I yeah, <laughs> yeah, last year. Right. Yeah. This one seems to be a the year the, with yours. There was a wall here. Right? No, ours, ours is, is your open? Yeah. Maybe it was the year before that. It was, yeah. yeah, and see a very large drawer for storage. Mm -hmm. Remember, we stepped the first time on this Lots of storage in the right. kitchen. Wow. Um, Even a wine seat there. chiller. Yeah. And the inside map station. Right. Uh, dishwasher. If you didn't want the dishwasher, you could have an extra fridge. Or You know, I didn't think we wanted a dishwasher until I went across the Atlantic and it had a dishwasher. And I was like, when you're bouncing and slamming, the last thing you want to do after every meal is wash your dishes. So I might. Uh, well, and I actually store stuff in there. Yeah. Because it does keep it. Right. Um, it's, you know. You haven't gotten around to cleaning it, but you want it out of the way. Right, so lots of storage. See how deep that is? Yeah, that's good. Very deep. Yeah. And they're all like that. One's like that too, okay. Yeah. Uh, convection microwave and a very large oven. Yeah, it's huge oven. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, my goodness. It's like a pizza oven. Right. Huh. And, um, and then what? how many burners? The five. Five, wow. Five burners. And then, again, the fridge and the freezer. Yeah. And if you just did not need another freezer because you had the outside one, then you could have you know, an extra fridge instead. So they're very flexible on what, what you need and what's going to make you mm -hmm. like the way you want to. Now, and this is, the, this is the guest side or this is the master, master side? Okay. So you can have six cabins if you were trying to do cruising, right. five, four, three, whatever. Yeah. On this one, um, they put this down for safety. However, you don't have to have that if you recall some of the other ones. Have the, the wood. Yeah. So, yeah. 
and I don't know if I've mentioned it on this, but I'm going to mention it. Yours is my favorite with the gold honey, and you had the wood everywhere, and I love that boat. So go back and watch two years ago episode, it was two years. and that's the one that would be my choice for color scheme. Um, on this one, they chose to have a workshop, which is a really cool idea. Yeah. So this is actually three separate mattress pieces okay. that will slide into here. They slide into that storage? Yep. Okay. And, and under here is that rubberized... rubberized matting. So, so this whole area would be a workbench. A workbench, yep. It's amazing. And um, this one is a little bit in here for the tools. Okay, yeah. And um, I'm not sure because Phil has 16 million tools, so he would need <laughs> more than that, but anyway. Yeah. Um, There's lots of counter space yeah, in here, though. It's lots awesome. of storage. Yeah. And again, they come with TVs in every room. Included in every room. Sound system. This boat is still still set up from a, a power perspective so that you can go anywhere in the world. It has a transformer so that you can plug okay. in regardless. 120 or 240? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now this one though, on this, I just want to make a point because I might not remember to say it. This one's a shower over your toilet. It's this not a separate. This is the only one, but the they chose one. this because they were using this as a Oh, okay. Could, they could have used this space over here they if they'd wanted. They could have used that space or they also put a pantry on here. Okay. So this room's a pantry and right. they could have made it into a shower made the, and made the head bigger. But yeah, this is valuable as well. I mean, if you're to live on your boat, you need space for all the extra. When you finally get to a Costco, you're going to load your boat full. <laughs> exactly. Right? So. Well, and behind you, they've chosen to put storage here, which some people in the past have had a fridge here. Right. And then they can modify the size of the, the hallway here to accommodate whatever you need. Okay. Uh, small settee. Small settee. Little one. <laughs> and you said yours, you had a desk here. Uh, just yes, this one, ours had a very deep, wide desk for sewing or projects or right. work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then, so uh, you have options. Over here. Right. right. So you, this boat is like the most customizable boat I've seen. Right. You just keep telling them what you want, they'll just change it around. And I, I don't remember if I told you this before, but when we did ours, it was different. And so James was sending me pictures from South Africa and he said, you know, here's your settee. And he had this tall cabinet here. And I said, but where's my wine glass place? And so mm. in about two hours, he sends me back another, another one. Picture. This is what it'll look like on the new yeah. one. Yeah. And I, I said, okay, cool. Yeah. Beautiful but, yeah. CAD di diagram of what the new one will look like. Right. So, king oh, size bed. It's very nice. And you can have the steps up the middle, or you can have the steps up either side and a little walkway, which I think shrinks it from a king size. Bed. Right. So, if you, yeah, if you want to be able to step off your bed right. and then slide down the and, steps. Or you if you it. said, I don't need that storage on the side, but I'd like a walkway, they can do that as well. That's amazing. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then um, this particular boat has a bathtub. Just showing the TV that's out here in every every room. Okay. Oh, and the etched glass. This is always like something I love about this boat. They make yeah. let you choose what kind of etched glass. Or you can have it just fully. Um, fully cloudy. Uh, yeah, cloudy. There's a word for it. Etched. Yeah. And then, or you can have wood. Some people just. Really oh, they wanted the privacy. privacy. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, okay. Huge. Huge. Window up here. And a lot of um, people have been commenting on the tile floors that they don't see in most boats. And um, this particular owner chose a different tile for each room. Oh, really? So again, so one yeah, again, you know, to your choice and preference. You have the terracotta in yours, don't you? We have stone. Oh, stone, have stone. like, stone. yeah. 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 Awesome. Mm -hmm. So was there not only a, f or was that on the other side, a freezer or fridge? Uh, no, no, I'm thinking of the one last year. Before. Oh, this is the yeah. indoor right. seating area. Right, this, this table goes down. Okay. Um, and then they chose to have a, a larger than the floor line cabinet. Yeah. Although I shouldn't say that. One of the ones before had a floor to ceiling line cabinet down. On the side. Yeah. Yeah. So it's again, and there is a wine cooler in here, refrigerated wine cooler. I love your pantry. Um, a nav station inside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so, oh, now what's over here? Just as like to do the rest of the instrument panel here, right below, right below our big TV uh, and the main salon here. Yep. Oh, wow. Very easy that. to get to everything. Does it, of course, it tells you everything, like the solar coming in and all that stuff. Awesome. Okay. You can flip those down and pull it down to get to the back. Oh, get to the wiring. Yes, okay. Fusion uh, stereo system there. Okay. Now we're going on the guest side. 
Now this boat can be five cabins, six cabins, or four cabins, or right? Three cabins, or three cabins. Or two cabins or it's you all up to you. No yeah, one big open I think space. You just really didn't, didn't want a cabin. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Um, that's nice boat. Again, really big showers, tall, good for, for tall people. Oh yeah, so this one's got its this one's got its separate shower, which is nice. And then, like she said, different tile in each one, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's hard to get, you know, heads are always hard to film because there's so much, it's such a tight space, but right. there's the electric flush toilet and the sink. And again, the etched glass uh, thing. This is a queen back here? Um, it's, I believe it's a queen. Yeah. We got a little storage on the sides. It actually might be a king because I think it's wider, but I'm not. Yeah, it's probably halfway. It looks yeah. wider than a queen, but not quite right. as wide as a king. And of course, the TV in every room. Okay. So this is the one guest cabin. Now there's two right. more back here. Again, Look at the storage. Tons eh? of storage. Tons yeah. of storage. And again, really good lighting. Yeah. She's using it as a linen mm -hmm. closet, but it's got hanging, so if you oh, wanted yeah, you to use hang it as a hanging there. locker, yeah. you could. There's the uh, mid-cabin. Mid spare, spare cabin. Oh, separate another shower. Head. Another head. So there's a head on each one there's of these. One in every single cabin. And then this is the midship one. Now, if you recall, the one last year had the dorm thing, so they had sort of oh, right. not one for every cabin, but right. you could do that. You know, right. Some people say, I don't need that. I don't need three heads on the yeah. side, I only I'm want two. Step aside and look. Well, so actually, I'll show you the size of the shower. I'll be your shower. Your shower <laughs> demo person, yeah. So you got your separate shower in all of these ones, that's great. Mm -hmm. And then your back cabin with the nice, really wide stairs to get right. it. Right. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Again, tons of storage behind that door. There's even more storage. There's a, there's oh, a might be thing. might be held close open. But you can see it behind there. Oh, it's just the magnet. It's a oh, little, yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. So lots and lots of storage. So something that Janice and I would love. We definitely don't need five cabins. So it's nice to know if you wanted four. Now, if you had four, how would this? Which what would you lose, or what um, would you gain? You so you'd do lose the mid masters. one. You could do the double master oh, so over okay. on this side, and that's oh. really nice if you have, you know, parents or yeah. friends that yeah, because five have cabins. Space. I don't need. Who are you ever going to have eight or ten right. people on your boat? Right. right so. Now the good thing about it though is if you're buying it and you're going to resell for charter, or if you're going to use it for charter, what I hear is that at least five cabins is really right. More, yeah, you're going to be able to rent out for more yeah. if you got more space for different guests. Right, and and you know they can make it six, so it would be the right. same as the There's three on each side. Right. So that's what I mean, that's kind of the point for the viewer is that this boat is very flexible. Right. Like if you're a live live aboard couple and there's only ever going to be two, maybe four when two guests come on board, then you can make each cabin bigger and have less cabins. Right. Or you can have three on each side and have every cabin be kind of a guest cabin, right? So that's great. And we always find that you always need some place to store, you know, people bring like really big luggage yeah. and, and extra yeah. beer so and one, whatever. So, you so one cabin ends up being a storage room. Right, yeah. and usually that's the one that if people are going to, they'll do the wet head in just because it's... Yeah, uh, that's true. You know. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's, I guess, inside and outside. That's it. Thank you very much. You're this welcome. is a great tour, and I'm sure the viewers are going to love it. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, Ali, we're back outside because we forgot one key feature. Well, we forgot two. <laughs> two so key features. One is a dive compressor. This particular owner doesn't have Chose not to get it, but right, it is but, standard. But if you do choose one, it goes in the engine bay, and it is standard. It would go in this it bay would go here. in the engine bay, yeah. and you would have the thing to fill it yeah. outside, so you don't have to... Every previous model we've had has had one right here, right. and it's come standard in the price. It does. Yeah. And then the other thing that I failed to show you is behind the sign. Uh, there's a hot and cold water or shower on both sides. Okay. So the wash down. Oh, okay. So you pick it you up. Just pull it out. Oh, okay. And turn it. And, and hot, it's hot and cold. Hot and okay. Cold. Yep. All right. And so price wise. Price wise for the 530, the new shape. The new model yes, with the new hull shape. Because they had to do new hulls. But it's new molds. Fully loaded. Okay, fully loaded. And we're talking everything. If you watch these Jeez. previous videos. Plates, Panels, cutlery, everything, you know, engines, dive compressor, all yeah. Stuff, yeah, and the solar. And we figured it was 2,200 watts. So. Yeah. And um, the flybridge. Uh, if it's not, I will write out the bottom of the screen what it is once right. I. Yeah. Okay. And the flybridge is 1.45. Right. Now, Janice and I aren't aren't interested in that, but last year's model was a flybridge, That's correct. and it was a big jump in price because there used to be a lower price for the base. But the new model with the new shape is 1.2, fully loaded. Right. 
and then the flybridge is 1.45. Right, and that's for the 53. And I yeah. do have a 57 that's under production right now, yeah. but I don't have the pricing on that. Okay. Well, for us, we wouldn't go any bigger than 53. Already feels huge to us. But if, if someone's interested, in it, yeah, right to the company. yeah, they have majestic. And yeah. uh, okay, thank you very much for this tour. It's always awesome to see you. you too. Ciao for now. Okay, clearly we're at home, not at the Annapolis Sailboat Show. We wanted to review the footage and give our full thoughts after we had a chance to review it. So we uh, did that, and also so that we don't talk about the boat yeah. positively or negatively. Believe me, we got 11 boats. We don't love every boat like we really like this one. Some boats you get off and you're not 100% in love with it, and the salespeople or the owner of the boat's literally within earshot, so you don't really want to talk right there. So we review the footage and we like a lot about this boat. Yes, there it has a lot to offer. It's uh, written it, a list. It has a lot that other boats don't have. Yes. Yeah. Um, just just walking about on it, it's it's huge. You never feel like you have to crouch and duck, and it's got hard lifelines all around. Tons of room between the forestay and the like. It's super wide cat like catwalk all around. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it feels just so comfortable everywhere you go. The, it's got the big princess seats, comfortable mat, trampoline, catwalk to the bow. And Beautiful galley with a double sink. Yeah, it's got like full-sized appliances almost. And a full dishwasher. Full-sized kitchen appliances and a dishwasher. It's got like a full stove with five burners and... So she doesn't top. even need a double sink because we have a dishwasher, but... But I'll still want the double sink. <laughs> I and, knew she would. Yeah. And There's just so much. The hard dodger is a big, big selling feature yeah. for this boat. And uh, there's a couple other boats that do it, but a hard dodger where you have a windshield with a mm -hmm. windshield wiper and everything. The best best part about that is it's not going to be umbrella material, which is going to fade and yeah. crack and age, and you have to replace it in five years. Or, um, or what's that? Isinglass. Isinglass stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Now, granted, there is a full Scratches. enclosure included that's included that's rolled up into the ceiling that will have eyes and glass. Yeah. So eventually that will go. Or... But I mean, let's face it: if you don't use it much, you'll roll it up. It won't get exposed to sun that much, so it shouldn't age too quickly. Mm -hmm. But and having an enclosure is really nice. When I did that transatlantic on the Exquisite, it had an enclosure. And when we were in certain chilly areas, it was really nice to be able to put that down. Or if you need to get out of the sun, it's nice to have too. It had a big freezer under the back. Yeah, the outdoor uh, cockpit yes. table. Yes. Big freezer, chest so much freezer. Stuff. And down below in this one, it had a pantry. I've always loved oh, the idea of walk a walk-in pantry. pantry, but I've never ever had one in an actual house. Yes, we don't even have no. it in our house, and our house is pretty big. Like people with much smaller houses than us have them, and I'm yeah. so jealous. And yeah, you almost never see them on a boat too, because uh, usually space like, is <laughs> a premium. Yeah, and as you saw from this video, they could have opted for a bigger uh, head with a separate shower, but instead they opted for the pantry, and I think we would definitely do that too, because you don't need to have uh, yeah. every bathroom no, have its full own shower and every full shower. Bathroom. Yeah. Uh, so we talked about pull-down enclosure, hard mm -hmm. dodger, life rafts included. That's mm -hmm. very rare. Everything is included. Scuba compressors included. Mm -hmm. Very rare. Mm -hmm. um, 2,200 watts of solar when you roll them all out. I mean, some of them are underneath other ones, so you don't get 2,200 all the time. But when you're at anchor and you roll out those extra ones that are underneath the other ones, you get 2,200 watts, which is crazy amount of solar, which is awesome. Um, the, the washer and dryer is washer located dryer. outside of the back cockpit. Yeah. We've heard other people say that, oh, their interior washers and dryers, they create heat and vent into the into the cabins and, and make heat. Well, this and humidity. Is outside, yeah. yeah. Well, this is outside. That's an advantage for that. That is and, a smart spot to put a yeah. washer dryer outside. Yeah. yeah. And there's an ice maker out there, like, too. Because we would probably hang stuff anyway to dry, and it's handy to have yeah. already outside. So there's so much to love. As you've, If you've watched previous years, especially two years ago, as I mentioned in the video, we love yeah. this boat. Now, we really loved all these features for 950000 yeah. And then they're like, oh, we changed the mold and now it's a new shape. And we're like, excellent. That's awesome. And then they're like, yeah, and it's 1.2 million now. And we're like, oh. So now it's out of, yeah, it's out of, out of reach now. Because we're, our price, we're probably going to have to buy used, clearly, yeah, as we've well. mentioned. Uh, our, our ballpark price is probably 600,000 US. Mm -hmm. So when you see a boat that's 950 new, you think, well, maybe if we buy a four or five year old one, somebody might be desperate. Maybe Allie will sell her boat in four or five years. By then it'll be a 10 year old boat though, because their boat's already be three good. or four years old. Nice. Yeah, we were trying to ballpark a used boat that's about five years old. So we don't have to immediately like re-rig the boat with new running rigging and all that. Because if you get a 10 year old boat that's been used for 10 straight years out on salt water and sun and all that, you might have to replace things pretty quickly after that. So if you did get a five year old boat, you probably have a little bit of time before th those big uh, replacements have to happen. But yeah, when the boat was 950, we did see some Royal Cape catamarans mm -hmm. for sale on Yacht World and whatnot that mm -hmm. were around 600,000. Mm -hmm. So we knew it was doable. But now at 1.2 million, 
there's a lot further to drop to our price yeah. range. So that's kind of like disappointing. But I haven't seen this new one. When we see it maybe next year at the Annapolis show, yeah. the new haul might blow me away and I might see why they up the price by uh, what? Two and a half mil? Two, two hundred, no, two and a half mil. I mean, two hundred. <laughs> two hundred fifty thousand. Then, uh, yeah, then it might make sense. But that's that's a big jump. So a quarter mil, up by a quarter. Quarter mil, mil <laughs> quarter mil price jump. So, um, yeah. but there's probably some so features. Oh, stuff. another thing that was on this one, that's probably I'm assuming is going to be on the new model too. That really big swim platform on the back that goes oh, right yes. down into the water. So if you're a scuba diver, you've got a, a platform under the water, you can just slide your bum on, take off all your tanks. Yeah. And we, we do have our scuba certificates and we want to scuba dive when we own our own exactly. boat. Exactly. And she said there's a little table you can actually yeah. hook, like um, anchor there. into, it'd be like a back porch. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and uh, also too, that's where you put your dinghy. So clearly when you're at anchor, you can take your dinghy off that and use it as a swim platform. Back there and have well, drinks. But yeah, but when you are, you know, crossing oceans, that will be where you'll put your uh, dinghy on blocks. And therefore it's not swinging on a line on a dinghy davits. It's kind of always on a rope and you better mm. hope that doesn't break when you're sailing. If it's on a lifting platform, then you've got it on blocks. It's much more secure. Mm -hmm. So lots to like. There's not very much to dislike. No, no. So it is too big, really. I mean, it's, it's like just more than we yeah. possibly could use in a boat. It's probably too um, big, but so. yeah. Whoever complains about having too big of a well, house, right? Everybody. So if you're going to have a well. boat. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. We love this boat. We're interested to see this new model when we see yeah. it in real, other than just pictures of it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, worth the $1.2 million. Yeah. And we'll probably have to look for a used one of the old model to yes. get anywhere close to our price range. Mm -hmm. So yeah. hopefully you found this episode interesting, informative, or entertaining. If so, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up and... Subscribe. Yeah, so that's it. Ciao for now. See you next time. Bye. We anchor and hoist the sails.